right, now we're gonna show you how to bleed the brakes on the 626, hopefully successfully. I have my cohort Caleb helping me. He's gonna be the brake pumper. This is something that Andy showed me. Just uh, drill two holes in the top there, put some brake fluid, uh, make sure that your hose is below the brake fluid line, then you attach that to your bleeder valve. No matter what you do, you're not going to suck air back up. There's an air hole here to allow air to escape. There's no chance of sucking air back in. But you want to make this hose as short as possible, so you're going to have to hold this while someone else does it. Does it. That way you're not wasting a whole bunch of fluid with like a two-foot line that reaches from the ground all the way up to the bleeder screw. Yeah, it probably would have been okay to have like you know, six extra inches, but whatever. So that's how this process is going to work. And the whole time you want to have your uh, brake fluid reservoir cap off. You're going to have to keep an eye on that because that level will go down. And if you're bleeding the brakes, you're going to want a big jar of brake fluid. So we're just going to stuff that right there for now. Okay, so now we have our hose attached to the end there. It's barely on there though. And we've got, what is that, an eight millimeter wrench here. And then you're going to crack it going up Let's see if that works until the fluid starts coming out a little bit okay now pump the brakes yeah, some dirty fluid in there brake fluid is supposed to be clear so all of this means that there's either water or air in the system so just keep pumping until that turns clear. And I think we're just about there. Okay, now hold the brake in. All right, now release it. Okay, now we're nice and tight. And then you can just detach that. And on to the next break. It's supposed to be clear. Looks like Dad's beer. It does. Or urine. Okay. It's unhealthy urine. Dad's urine after a beer. There you go. So this is a very good way to show everyone, because I'm going to show Caleb how to do it. And so if I could show him how to do it, it means I could show you how to do it as well. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is put your wrench onto the nipple. Now there might be a cap on here. Yep, hold on. Let me get back here. Right here, there's a cap on this one. Yeah, the caps on this one are all messed up. So, it is good to have caps on your bleeder valves. That way, uh, rocks coming up and hitting it, you know, it is behind a tire, so uh, I'm obviously going to need some new caps. But on the rears, the bleeder valve is right there. Okay, now you probably want to set your bottle there. And now on this one, Set the bottle like up like that. Oh, that's great. That works. It's beautiful. But then the hardest part is getting this aquarium tube because it's not quite as uh, big enough. So you have to kind of try and walk it on there and it does not want to go on there. So you're going to spend some time messing with that. That might take you a minute or two until you can get it secure and it has to be airtight. And put the wrench on, yes, on this side because when you crack it loose, you're going to have to go up with it. So hold on, go one, one down like that. Yeah. So putting that hose on at the same time and keeping that wrench on is uh, it's a little tricky, but a little bit of effort. It's a little just, stupid. Just a little bit of effort. Yeah, it'd be easier if I had a slightly larger tubing, and I don't know if aquarium tubing is slightly larger. I don't know. I didn't even check. I just picked up the first pack I saw. I didn't even know if there was a difference or not. So if anyone out there knows if there's a difference in the diameter of the tubing that you can buy, um, let me know. The front bleeder valve is smaller than the rear bleeder valve. So what Caleb did was took the pair of needle nose pliers and he enlarged the tubing. It's plastic tubing and I've got six feet of it. What you could do right now is go ahead and crack it loose. This way? Yep. It's gonna take a little bit of muscle. Oh, okay, I just don't really like it. All right, now wait until you see the fluid start coming out a little bit, like so. I can see it coming out. Should now, the bottle down? Uh, no, just leave it right there. Now I get in and press on the brake. And you should see all that orange crap come out. Mm -hmm. And all you got to do is close it when the fluid starts coming out clear. You... 
It's not going to be perfectly clear. It's still pretty dark. Okay. It is the rear one, so it takes a while for the fluid to get back there. Should have started on the rears, actually. Should do both rears first. Because you always want to do the ones farthest away from the master cylinder. You got it uh, tightened up? Yep. All right, tighten it down really good. Okay. Put the bottle on the ground. Okay. That's okay. You just drop it on the ground. It's fine. It won't reach. It's okay. Because when we started, the hose had to be all the way to the bottom. Now it doesn't. And Dan, all you have to do is take the uh, tube off. And then all that fluid will immediately go right down to the bottle. And there you go. When I was um, pumping the brakes, did you see any air bubbles coming out? Not really. Uh, a couple maybe. Okay. Whoa, we are really low on the mess. Whoops. Yeah. We are dangerously close there. Yeah, you want to keep this topped off. Is that cracked enough? No. Okay, well, it's it's okay. You can just take this off. Nope. Kind of wiggle it off. Or is that not going to go? Well, let's see. Yeah, Dad, I'll be on the YouTube. But no fluid. Really? Um... Pump the brakes? Yeah. All right, we have an air bubble in the line, and we're just gonna watch as the bubbles leave the brake system. Devin's gonna pump the brakes right now. It's just like SeaWorld, or Wet and Wild. Ooh. All right, you're good. All right, we're clear all the way through the line. Okay. And that's, is there clear, still clear fluid in that line? Yeah. Okay. And that's as tight as it goes. Mm-hmm. Okay, then you're good to take it off. You like how I put the tires right there? Yeah, it's very nice. I appreciate it. Yeah, that looks a lot better than the other ones. Oh, yeah. It's a big difference when you have your caps on. You can see how nice that valve looks compared to the ones that don't have the caps. It's a sexy valve. Sexy valve, sexy cap. Yeah, I think it was uh, left to right. Oh, my goodness. It's okay, screw. Anytime you want to participate, it's cool. Just pull that off. <clears throat> no. There you go. Take a little bit of muscles. My skulls. Yeah. You ain't been eating your spinach, boy. What? Oh, I didn't, it looks so small, I didn't want to break it. I was actually scared. Oh. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> Pump the brakes. <laughs> oh. You getting anything? Does it look orange? Yeah. Let me check the master. Damn. Did it again. 
and that is a whole bunch of nasty brake old brake fluid brake fluid should be clear shouldn't be that piss color piss shouldn't be that color either. yeah piss shouldn't be that color either <laughs> All right, and we're right where we want to be. Put the cap back on, put the wheels back on, and um, darn, I might be able to actually go for a drive. This is our household pet, Henny Penny the chicken. She was helping Devin and I work on the car today. She ate um, one of the bad uh, bleed screw, the brake bleed screw caps. So uh, she's just helping us clean up. I don't know if it's good for her, but nothing I can do to stop her. And we're going to watch Devin take off, hopefully safely. He has to wash his hands first, actually. So we're going to go back to the more entertaining chicken. She follows everyone around the yard and chases the dogs. It steals their food. If this... I guess it would be good to test the brakes first while it's... Yeah. I guess you could put it in neutral first. If this ends up going badly, I'm going to go back to filming the chicken. Put in neutral. Put in put in neutral. And I'll roll it backwards a little bit. Alright. Okay. Is it neutral? Yep. Obviously. It's a manual. And we have brakes. And windshield wipers. And fluid. And all that great stuff. All right. I have to adjust my seat now that I got a clutch. No dog by me. Hold on, let me check. Any chickens back here? I don't think you can see him, but he's down there making a Yui. Happy? Third gear. Nice. So there's like something rumbling or something with the flywheel or the clutch. Not quite sure what it is. Maybe that's something to do with the power steering. Let's see if I can take this around the block. Alright, good luck. Should I keep filming? Or actually, I'll just go down farther down the street. Should I keep filming? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. All right, let's go find the chicken.
There's a boat. Everyone likes boats, right? Yeah. Boats are cool. I'm begging you all to please stop buying these decals. Okay? They're very cheesy and everyone has them. So don't be a conformer. Live life on the edge. Wish I knew where the chicken was. I think this video is going to go viral. It's just so exciting. I'm going to be the new Gangnam style. Well, it drives. Oh, that was neat. Yeah? Got a little bit more horsepower. Than... Yeah, wait. Boomer barbecuing enough engine. We gotta, we gotta finish the video off, cause Mazda. Something.